And now, that will conclude today's lessons, but once again, remember that the bell does not dismiss you, I do that. Before the end of the day, I also want to remind you to study for the test next week. Class is now dismissed, have a great weekend. Joseph, not you. What do you mean? Miss Still Waters. You seem to be forgetting that you have detention with me after school for two weeks, and you haven't finished your first week of detention. Now, if you will kindly return to your seat, I will greatly appreciate that. Now, I would like you to take out a book to read during the next half hour. Okay? No problem. Do you know what is making me mad right now? Having to go to stupid detention every single day after school for a half hour, and this has got to stop. I always think about just skipping school altogether just to get myself out of this nonsensical mess, and if I do that, no more going to detention, ever again. Just skipping class isn't going to work, I just realized. Thank goodness, I am going to be on a Zoom meeting with Arthur in about 5 minutes and he is going to come up with an idea about how I can get out of going to detention. Maybe, Arthur is going to have the best idea that no one has ever came up with, and I think it's going to teach Miss Stillwaters a very big lesson that she will never forget. I hope this will be the case, because I would like to see my teacher having to serve detention for 1786432901754732465. years. Good afternoon, Joseph. Good afternoon to you, Arthur and thanks for having me on the meeting. No problem, so how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, even though I had to serve detention again, but I'm glad I am home from school, and how are you doing? I'm doing good as well, thanks for asking. Anyways, I have a really good solution for you, in order to get you out of detention once and for all. I know you're really going to like what I am about to tell you. So listen closely. You know how Karen has her own operating system to install on computers. Yes, I know about Karen OS, and I remember when DW installed it on Arthur's computer, that was really funny how Arthur reacted when he couldn't resume doing his homework. Well, with the help of Karen, I was able to make my own operating system, called Arthur OS. And I have several copies of it at my house to give to my troublemaking Karen friends. That is awesome. I knew Karen was a genius, since she always comes up with very good ideas to help troublemakers get whatever they want. Anyways, here is the plan. Tomorrow morning, I can meet you outside of Lakewood Elementary School, before the tardy bell rings, and I can give you a copy of Author OS for free so that you can install it on your teacher's computer while she isn't in the classroom. Ha 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 Arthur, you are such a genius, I never even thought about doing that. Maybe that will teach Miss Stillwater a big lesson about keeping me in detention for half an hour after school every single day. Anyways, I better get going for now. I have to play Apex Legends with my friends for the next few hours, but remember, I will see you tomorrow morning near Lakewood Elementary. So you have a good rest of your afternoon. Same to you, Arthur. Good morning. Arthur. Good morning Joseph, here is the copy of Author OS. Good luck with installing it on your teacher's computer. And one more thing, the time it takes to install is only 2 to 3 minutes.
Here you go, and I better get going to the special school. My class is going to start in 15 minutes. Take care. Joseph, I have a pretty important meeting to attend right now, and it should be no more than 15 to 20 minutes. While I'm gone, I want you to finish reading the book from the other day, or get started on your homework assignment. I will be right back. Now that Miss Stillwater has left the room, this is the perfect time to go on her computer and install OrthoS, and once it's installed, I am going home. Now, I am going to insert the disk into the computer, and then in 2 minutes, it will be running OrthoS, instead of Windows 10. And that will teach Miss Stillwater not to put me in detention on a daily basis. Good, I just successfully installing OrthoS on Miss Stillwater's computer. Now it's time to go home. Where's Joseph? When I left the room 15 minutes ago, Joseph was here, but now he's gone. I wonder where he could be. Could he be using the restroom? Anyways, it's time to get working on tomorrow's lesson plans while I wait for Joseph to come back. Oh my goodness, what in the world happened to my computer? And what happened to PowerSchool, Google Chrome, and Microsoft Office? Just a few minutes ago, it was just fine running Windows 10, but for some reason, now it's running on some strange operating system created by a troublemaker. I have to see who it is who decided to take over my computer, because I need to get back to lesson planning and grading students' assignments. Welcome to Author OS, version 1. My name is Author and I will be your guide when you are learning to use this operating system. Who could have installed OrthoS on this computer? Because I know for a fact that I didn't install it. Actually, I believe you installed my operating system, because it is now running on your computer. Don't lie to me. I don't have time for this. I need to go back to using Google Chrome, Microsoft Office, and PowerSchool. I have to finish grading assignments and I also have to finish up with my lesson plans for tomorrow and next week. I beg your pardon? I said I don't have time for this nonsense. I have work to get done. Absolutely not. First of all, how dare you talk back to me? You know that you can lose your teaching job for doing that. And second of all, I want you to quit your teaching job, so that I can take over and give Joseph everything that he wants because you need to understand that the world revolves around him. I'm not going to listen to what you tell me, you should understand why Joseph is spending two weeks of detention with me after school for 30 minutes every day. He has been failing assignments for one thing, and worse, he has also been misbehaving and acting like some entitled Karen. Now, let me go back to using Microsoft Office and PowerSchool, so that I can finish my lesson plans. How deluded can you get? Did you just call me deluded? Oh 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 How dare you insult me like that? You know that not only you can lose your job, you can also be investigated by the FBI, and then I will have you sued for billions of dollars in court. Now, I demand that you release Joseph from detention, and give him the highest grades on every single assignment and every single exam, and also, you need to be giving him meals from Burger King while in class, 
and give him dessert every day after lunch before classes resume in the afternoon. Now that I noticed, in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, there is an internet application, so I think I can resume working on my lesson plans and finish grading my students' homework assignments. Well, at least the internet works, thank goodness, now, I better go back to finishing up my lesson plans. Wait, why is the page taking forever to load? When it was running Windows 10, I did not have this problem whatsoever. Hey, don't ask me why. You should already know by now why the page is taking forever to load. Really, it's been 15 minutes, and the page still won't load. I've had enough of being forced to use this silly operating system. I'm going to have to restart my computer somehow, and it better go back to running Windows 10. At least I was able to restart my computer. Now, if it will be running Windows 10 this time, Instead of this silly operating system made by a troublemaker, then I can get back to work. Are you kidding me? I wanted Windows 10, not this silly troublemaker operating system. Trying to uninstall my operating system from your computer? Well guess what, you're stuck with AuthorOS forever. In other words, you're not going back to Windows 10 anymore. Oh, really? We'll see about that. I demand you to stop turning off your computer, right now, or you will face very serious consequences. Look, Arthur Clone, you have really been wasting my time. How dare you turn off your computer? That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for 1507643290183940202053642219 years. Now face my teeth. Face it. Way. <laughs> No, no, no. Now I have to reinstall Windows 10 on this computer, and I hope I didn't have everything erased from the hard drive. Thankfully, I have a copy of Windows 10, but it may take a while to get it installed. At least the computer is back to running Windows 10, but the question is, was all of my work erased? I guessed it right. All of my work was erased from the hard drive while it was running Arthur OS, and I knew it wasn't me who installed it. I knew it has to be someone else who installed the silly operating system on my computer. Miss Stillwater, please report to the front office. Miss Stillwater, please report to the front office. Miss Stillwater, Going through the surveillance tapes, I found out why you were struggling with your computer, with regards to reinstalling Windows 10, and trying to finish your lesson plan. Come over here and take a look. It couldn't be, you have to be kidding. Good, I just successfully installing Arthur OS on Miss Stillwater's computer. Now it's time to go home. Oh 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 I had a feeling it was Joseph who installed that silly operating system on my computer. That is it.
I'm going to give his parents a call right now. Alright, I think we have this, we're almost finished with the level, 5 more left and then I win the game. Almost, there. Yes, I just beat this level, now I have 5 more to go. Joseph, come out into the hallway, this is very serious. Mom, why do you look so angry right now? What did I do? Joseph, we'll discuss that later. But right now, your principal just called me, and told me that we need to see her and your teacher in the office. Let's get into the car now. Mrs. Reed, thanks for stopping by at the office. Principal Tingley just showed me the video footage of what happened about 40 minutes ago, in my classroom. Come over here and take a look. Joseph, you stay right right where you are, and we'll talk to you in a moment. No, this cannot be, I think he probably learned this from DW. Good. I just successfully installing Ortho OS on Miss Stillwater's computer. Now it's time to go home. Not only he installed Ortho OS on my computer, he left school grounds before his time in detention was up for the day. I also had to spend an hour trying to fix my computer. Eventually, I was able to reinstall Windows 10. But now all of my lesson plans are erased from the hard drive, and so are the students' assignments. With that said, Joseph, you will tell me and Miss Tingley why you installed Ortho OS on my computer and then left school grounds. It's because I wanted to teach you a lesson that you won't forget. I am way too important to be serving detention after school every day for 30 minutes, and for two weeks. That's why I installed Ortho OS on your computer, Miss Stillwater. I'm also going to take you to court one of these days. I get how you feel about having to serve detention after school. No one wants to go through that. But you, Joseph, have been misbehaving a lot during class, turning in your homework late or incomplete. And what you did just a few minutes ago is especially unacceptable. Because of what you did, now Miss Stillwater has to rewrite her lesson plans and possibly assign her students previous assignments that he hasn't yet graded. There are two weeks left in the spring semester, but I have a very tough decision to make. You will be suspended for the remainder of the school year, and then you will have two choices between attending summer school or repeating the fourth grade next school year. I think attending summer school will be the best choice because that should get Joseph to learn not to misbehave much. Summer school it is, Joseph. And some days you will also be performing community service. Last but not least, you'll probably have a different teacher for summer school. Now, you are free to leave my office. Joseph Christopher Reed, you are in really big trouble. Now let's go home. Joseph Christopher Reed, we cannot believe that you learned a certain behavior from DW, installing Arthur OS on your teacher's computer. Because of that, you're suspended from school for the rest of the school year, and you'll be attending summer school. That, is, it. You will be grounded for the entire summer, and possibly into next school year. That means no TV, no video games, no playing on the computer, no dessert, no talking to troublemakers on Zoom. Now go upstairs to your room, and think about what you did. Wow.